if it's working all right i think we are working hey this is mr mike here live on our uh, reach keep academy discussion group the camera is right on right there and uh this is miss terry uh our executive secretary here we're talking about i want to kind of give you a little i think I'll get a little closer here uh i want to get a little inside scoop on what happens on saturday on saturdays because busy saturdays make great sundays mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of different things so if you see cleaning people walking through or whatever this is our uh auditorium here uh, we call it a chapel uh, but it's where we have and I got a little uh, screen back here I want to show you kind of how we do our slides a lot of people ask about how we run Sunday morning uh, we've got a screen up there in the background I'll fire that up in a moment but I asked Miss Terry if she would come and tell us a little bit tell us a little bit about the and you got to hold that uh, talk a little bit about the printing what we do in prep for printing on Saturdays in our meeting we just had when my you pastor actually at, gives me all of the information I get all of our bulletin printed and our notes printed and our communication cards that we do every single week differently uh, sometimes it means I have to track down a few a little bit of information from different people to see what uh, what time something is or what whatever that is um, we're also you know doing a quick how we're going to get all the refreshments taken care of and do we have enough water bottles and all that gets done on Saturday. And um, then just making sure everything's clean and ready for guests. Um, getting all the printing done ahead of time makes a really big difference so that Sunday morning isn't crazy because you never know what other things you need that extra time for, whether it's a, a leaky uh, pipe or whatever there's all kinds of things that could take our attention away from having to do what we need to so right now you're taking care of screens and all kinds of things aren't you hey, tell them and the, these are the our academy people here mm -hmm. tell them the diff what the difference between the event and the routine we talked a little bit yesterday in our training we did but I know you know that better than anything else so while I get the screen you know it's just so important that every single Sunday is looked at as an event and not part of routine. That doesn't mean that you lose routine because there's some things you have to do every single week without fail, but um, thinking about the fact that some people are going to be coming in the door for the first time is just so important. And knowing that they have carved out that hour or two of their day to take care of uh, or to come to church. Um, for some of them it may be a very first time and so thinking about that and making sure that we're ready for every little thing whether it's making sure that the nursery spit spot clean or um anything yeah. yeah so it's it's we don't we don't have anything that's just routine around here though it really we really do take time to think it through and make sure that every sunday is a a special event all right thank you much Thank you, thank you. And speaking of clean, the queen of clean just walked in here. <laughs> Let me see, tell you what, we'll put you, you're, out, you're like live, let's see if we can turn this here. You wave, wave there. What are you doing, putting in? Putting in offering envelopes. All right, all important uh, job there. So thank you, Mr. I appreciate that. So anyway, hey, uh, continuing on this live broadcast here, just wanted to let you know, um, yeah, she, uh, we're cleaning, but busy Saturdays make great Sundays, and so that's kind of where uh, where we're going. There's a couple of things that I wanted to point out because a lot of people ask how our services work and uh, things along that line. We have uh, we seat about 100 people in here. We never have 100 except for well, Christmas Eve we had 100. Uh, we run double services, so uh, two services that makes it a little bit uh, uh, a little bit different. We have a different format, and that's for a totally. Uh, different uh, conversation than right now. Uh, but Sunday morning, or just Saturdays, we spend a lot of time making sure things are ready. Obviously, your building needs to be clean, bathrooms clean, you know, hallway, all that stuff. We have signs that we put up on Saturdays, uh, and we have a team that puts those up, uh, and I don't have to do that anymore, which is really nice. Uh, uh, they are not, uh, I don't think they put them up today because we have 60 plus mile an hour winds. And they wrote me last night and said, uh, emailed and said, should we put them up? I said, well, let's just kind of hang in there. Maybe we'll put them up Sunday morning if uh, worst case scenario. Uh, but if they just blow down, that doesn't work. But we do a lot of prep, a lot of straightening up. So like I say, you may see some cleaning uh, folks walk around here. Uh, we have a couple different screens that we do. And the preparation for those is done 
on my computer and I basically, I have an assistant so we're kind of teaching them how to do that as well. Uh, but we put the slides on there and make sure that they're uh, kind of ready to go. Uh, we drive everything off of uh, a computer that sits right here. So I set everything on a laptop and this is not really meant to show you this in detail, the, the sound system, music system and all that. But if you would like to know more about that, let me know and we'll put something We'll put something on, but we have a little screen right here and it shows what slide is there and what side is coming. And then they, it shows on, and you can probably see that. This is last week's uh, O Come All Ye Faithful. You can kind of hear the song. So uh, we kind of finished up with Christmas stuff uh, last week. Uh, I can click and I have a little remote dealie here. And uh, it's, called, it's made by Keyspan. That's the best one that's out there. Uh, it has a volume up and down buttons as well as forward and screen blanking and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, I can move through the slides just at ease. You can kind of see them in the background kind of going there. And it's pretty uh, in indiscreet. Uh, we've got some music and stuff we play for handshaking time. And then we have some sermon and uh, sermon notes and things like that we put up on the screen. So uh, that's kind of the sort of the short version of it. We have a microphone uh, and a couple things that's set up here. Uh, we basically have a music stand. This is still kind of set up from our candlelight service and we decided to leave a few Christmas things up uh, for another week. So that's kind of uh, what we've got there. Uh, but a lot of people like to kind of see the inside nuts and bolts, how that works. Probably the most important thing is uh, that we have is our screen and our slides and some of that. And those are coordinated with the notes and the cards that Terry just spoke about and printed. So my sermon notes are completely done in fill in the blank fashion. And if you're really looking to move to fill in the blank kind of stuff, uh, take a look on YouTube at our uh, sermon notes, how to do fill in the blank sermon notes. It's on the, the Reach Keep YouTube page and you can take a look at that and that'll kind of help you out. Uh, we try to spend some time every uh, one month here doing kind of an insider view of things so kind of let you see how things work. Uh, that's kind of what we have here at the church. Uh, some of my other notes, uh, we have slides, printed stuff, Saturday prep. Uh, I think probably the most important thing is what uh, Terry already talked about is we treat this as an event and not a routine thing. So uh, I, everyone needs to be in the habit of going to church, but obviously new families are not in the habit of going to church or they wouldn't be new families. They would be like your old families. So we have new people are needing to see stuff about this on Facebook. They're needing to see posters at the grocery store. They're needing to see signs up in downtown uh, areas and pointing them towards the church. And so that's what we do on Saturdays to make every Sunday an amazing event. You're going to have 52 of these this year and a great opportunity uh, to, uh, in fact, there's a quiz for you here. You could look this up. I'm not sure if we have 52 Sundays or 53. Every once in a while, you kind of get a bonus, uh, or, you know, the way the Sundays land. So let me know. Uh, that'll be your job assignment. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm signing out for right now, but thank you. This is Mike here at uh, the Reaching uh, Reach Keep Academy and uh, helping you guys uh, create flourishing churches in your community. So God bless, and we're out of here.